what is up gamers tisby scratch scratch tutorials back here with new video very epic so this man's great man's red dragon commented two months ago hello i have tutorial request i'm trying to see how to do something like if touching sprite for x amount of seconds fails of course two months ago i responded this should be pretty cool tutorial I might invest. Do not invest. He said thanks two months ago. Also, I think I should mention why I haven't uploaded approximately four months. Four months ago was when school was happening. And me being the Giga Chat I am, started playing tennis for my school. If I don't strike you as a tennis player, let me tell you, I, I'm crazy. So I had zero free time to make videos. But now that it's summer, gonna be pumping out the videos, I tell you, pumping them out. Now let's continue back to the uh, actual tutorial. Titled 228,899. New name. If touching sprite for X seconds. Great name. So, originally I had thought, hey, let's just say when this is clicked forever, if touching sprite, or if touching mouse pointer, you know, if this is touching mouse pointer, then we wait however many seconds you want to do something, like wait three seconds, right? And then we check again if it is touching it, and if it's still touching, then we do the thing that we need to do, like change size by 10. So therefore, if you were touching this for three seconds, it would change size by 10. But then I found issue. Let's say that you touch this and then you wait and you go back, and it still changes size within that same three seconds. So you can touch that, move the mouse away, touch it again, and it would still count because well, the script is just not very POC. So this, absolute garbage. We figured out, I figured out a new way to do this by doing when this is touching forever if. Now at this point, you're going to make variable. You're gonna name it something like touching. All right, so now that we have the variable touching, we are gonna set that sucker to approximately zero. Now, we are going to say, if touching mouse pointer, then we are going to change touching by 0 0.01 by 0 0.01, and that's going to be after we wait 0 0.01 seconds. So therefore, it will go up at the same time as seconds, but uh, that... That's taking way longer than a second to get to one. So, uh, you might have to change this up just a tad bit. All right, that looks a little bit better. So, as you can see, when we touch it, it just stays at a specific number, which is not what we want. So, we are going to say, if not touching mouse pointer, then we are going to set touching to zero. So now you can touch it, and then when you're not touching it, it sets it back to zero to reset the thing. So you have to be touching it for the however many seconds you want to do, you know, however many seconds. Now you may be wondering, how in the world am I supposed to actually use this? Because that information is cool, but not usable right now. So, I got the answer for you right now. You say, when this is clicked forever, if touching is greater than like three seconds right then it will do something aka change size by 10. so now we can see that this equals three boom oh as you could see it was working a tad bit nicely so that sucker back to 100. it worked but you know like when we put it on and we let leave it will reset back to zero but if you put it on for three seconds, then it will grow. But that we just want it to do increase size by 10 only once. This is quite simple to do. 
you just put a wait until equals block and wait until touching equals zero again. Touch this sucker for three seconds. Boom, changed by 10. So that is how to do touching, touching the mouse, uh, touching sprite for X amount of seconds. So uh, yeah, you're welcome, Red Dragon. Um, pretty sure, pretty sure you probably already figured this out. Seeing as how it's been two months, but uh, it was a very good thing to learn because I did not know how to do this till I actually tried. So, thanks, thanks, my jet. All right, so we'll be seeing you later, my boys. Uh, bye, bye.